this is for like week 16 or 17. I always forget. Did the mid 19th century increase in immigration to the lead immigrants lead to the Civil War? Although we tend to think about the Civil War as emerging form of differences over issues of slavery and state rights, immigration played a major role in the outbreak of the Civil War. Immigrants from Ireland and Germany moved to industrialization north, transformed balanced power. German migrants after 1848 revolution added greatly to the number of abolitionists and abuse to Irish immigrants led to a majority to oppose abolition. Many favored union cause. Immigrants from, oh, wait, wait, wait. Immigrants from our, point one. Immigrants in Ireland and Germany moved to industrialization north, transforming balanced powers. There, now I can talk clearly. <laughs> Immigrants from Ireland and Germany fled homelands in 1840, made way to flee states, shifting the balance power in south in the south and north. German immigrants often became involved in the industrial economy, spreading its growth. And a vast number of new northerners gave the Union cause nearly unlimited supplies for new troops, making war less fearsome for the north. The Irish potato famine began in 1845, when the disease spread rapidly through Ireland. It killed about half of the potato crop that year, and three-fourths of the crop over the next seven years. It had a ca catastrophic impact on Ireland, which Ireland was very dependent on, the, on potatoes. So, the... At, this point the lords didn't want to have to pay for the food for food and everything for the peasants and the peasants were catholic which the lords also didn't agree with so they wanted to get rid of them so for this the lords decided to give them free boat trips over to the united states so, and made them sign a waiver saying that they did not have to pay for all their food rations anymore patrick young said quote immigrants gave the north an incalculable advantage. It could have never won without them. Point two. German migrants after 1848 revolution added greatly to the number of abolitionists. Theta two. I mean, sorry, my bad. 1848 revolution forced young Germans to flee homelands through political to views to America. Ah. Uh, they brought major voting bloc for the Republicans in the Midwest, and many voted for Abraham Lincoln. The Turners followed of Ludwig Jan, trained for gymnastics to fight Napoleon. Military training led to Lincoln's bodyguards. They were heavily involved in the abolitionist movement and the Civil War. A German immigrant, Karl Schorsch, said, quote, I've seen it often enough how the poor slaves are sold away from their wives and children and beaten with a whip until their skin hangs in tatters. Death and damnation to the slave traders, end quote. Point three, abuse in Irish immigration led to a majority to applause abolition. Many favored union cause. The impoverished by the potato famine sent to America Irish immigrants, and they had Little, they had very little education along with other things, and they were very poverty. Prejudice against them, based on their ethnic, religious, and social economic reasons, led them to resent the abolitionist movement. But their physical presence in the North led them to fight for the Union cause. Unresolved issues from our previous points led to target African Americans, making the North dangerous for free for freed slaves. On March 3rd, 1863, there was a enrollment, there's an enrollment passed act 
which required men ages 20 to 45 and married men up to 35 years old. They had to register for the draft. Black people didn't get drafted, which added to the fuel of the fire. Irish feared that newly feared slaves, newly feared, newly freed slaves would migrate to the north and create competition in their labor markets. When the first draft was held in New York, and the New York City draft riot started. Stores were ransacked and destroyed, which supported the Union. The rioters then targeted black people because they saw the American Civil War as a war to free slaves and thus blamed them for the draft, as well as the war. Many black people were caught by the mob, stabbed, and lynched as a result. More than 1,121 people are thought to have died in this riot, making this the most deadly civil insertion of American history. A quote by Frederick Douglass says, quote, Poor Irish immigrants are a great obstacle to the cause of abolition, while the Germans are our attractive allies. End quote. So, although... So, although we tend to think about the Civil War as emerging from, different, from differences over issues of slavery and state rights, however, immigration played a major role out in, in the out, played a major role in the outbreak of the Civil War. Immigrants from Ireland and Germany moved to industrialization in the North, transformed balance power. German migrants after 1848 revolution added greatly to the number of abolitionists. And the abuse of Irish immigrants led to a majority to oppose abolition, and many favored the Union cause. Thank you. See ya, see ya!